This project carries out wheat mapping for underdeveloped regions using time series satellite data. And since these underdeveloped regions are data sparse, we propose a super pixel based active learning framework as a solution. The global food crisis is a long prevailing issue. And with each passing year, we've seen that the number of people facing food shortage is on the rise. At the same time, the global population is expected to reach nearly 10 billion by 2050, which means that the demand for food is set to surge. Although there are many reasons for this pressing issue such as climate change and wars, but a major possible solution is the optimized use of agricultural land and resources. We can optimize these resources if we can map the distribution of crops. The distribution refers to as which crop is growing where and at what scale. Also, with the emergence of high resolution satellite data, the mapping of this distribution is now possible. We can leverage time series satellite data to map various crops at large scales. These crop maps can then help the government, the policy makers and the farmers to ensure food security, optimize the yield of the crops and conserve the resources by making data-driven decisions. These decisions can include efficient water resource allocation, early detection of pest infestation and responding to natural disasters like floods and droughts. So for us to generate these crop maps, we require ground data to feed the deep learning models. This data is usually collected from farmers and subsidy programs. However, if we focus on the underdeveloped countries that are resource deficient, collection of this data becomes nearly impossible, which eventually hinders the generation of large-scale crop maps. Therefore, as a solution, we put forward a complete framework that eliminates the need of manual data collection from farmers to generate large-scale crop maps in data-sparse regions. This framework intelligently annotates unlabeled data and only queries a human labeler for annotations at locations where the system itself becomes uncertain. The human labeler then visually interprets the satellite data for correction and feeds the data back to the framework. The results highlight that the system reduces the labeling effort to only 13% and allows us to generate crop maps for preceding years as well for which no reference data is available. The crop maps generated from this framework which are displayed here show that the crops are precisely identified, the field boundaries are also accurately delineated, even though these underdeveloped countries exhibit small scale fields and a diverse distribution of crops within a small area. Moreover, the framework has the potential to generalize to other regions as well, even though satellite data is largely affected by the spatial, the temporal and the spectral characteristics of a region. This proposed approach not only enables the acquisition of large-scale crop maps with minimal resource utilization, but also lays the foundation for sustainable and cost-effective solutions. It empowers the underdeveloped regions to make more informed decisions about agricultural practices and resource allocations hence supporting the food security efforts. Our commitment extends to using the framework for expanding the data set across diverse regions and agricultural landscapes. Moreover, we are driven to carry out near real-time crop monitoring to ensure a more dynamic and responsive approach to food security.